I've owned the Fujifilm X106 from the beginning and over the past six months I've learned a lot about what I like and what I don't. So in this video we're going to talk about three things I love and three things I hate. So if you're thinking about buying one of these cameras, make sure you stick around to the end. The first thing I love about this camera is the fun and the enjoyment that it gives me while I'm using this camera. When I made the decision to buy an X106, my main motivator was I wanted this to be the camera I use when I'm not working with all my other cameras. This was meant to be separate from work. This was a personal thing, something to you know document the, the precious moments in life. We've just had a kid. I wanna make sure all those moments are documented and not miss things like family birthdays where I don't want the burden of being the camera guy who has to rock up with his whole kit. I wanted a camera that would allow me to document daily life in a bit of an incognito way, if you will. And I cannot state just enough that mission that I purchased this camera for it has fulfilled 1000%. For the reason that I wanted it, it has been absolutely perfect. People react differently when you point this camera at them compared to something like an a7 IV and a 2470. So I find you just get those real extra candid shots and people always want to talk about that film camera I'm using. And if you're looking for a camera to document daily life with, I can't recommend it enough, especially if you're a working professional like myself where you still want to take photos every day and you still want to remember those precious moments with your family, but you want that separation between this is work and then this is life. This is that real nice fence in between that separates them for me. So if that's you, I recommend doing one thing. Pause this video right now, go down, support the channel and buy one of these cameras from one of the affiliate links below. You will not regret it. However, if you're looking at this camera to be the only camera you own, let me tell you something I hate. The menus and the just general user interface are so clunky and backwards, it's not even funny. Fuji shooters will be like, oh, it makes you slow down, it makes you be more considerate. TTFO. Get out of right here, man. I'm trying to be more considerate when I look through the viewfinder. I'm not trying to be more considerate during my menu choices for the same reason that when I get into my car, I don't have to crank the engine anymore. We found ways to get past that and be faster. You just put the key and turn and go. It's the same thing with this. I just want things to be faster. I often walk the dogs at the beach with Rosie and our daughter, and I love documenting these early stages of our family's journey. And I wanna go from taking photos of Rosie to quickly taking a photo of the dogs running by us, a splash or a puddle. And while I'm always in single shot to make me slow down and consider composition and framing more, Things like swapping from human to animal IF is just slow and cumbersome. It's stuff like that that I would love to be able to assign to a custom button, but currently you've got to go into the quick menu to change that. And it's just not very quick to do in that sort of instant, whereas other cameras I own, one button, done. So when people say having a camera like this slows you down, absolutely it does, and that's what I was looking for. However, changing from animal to human IAF shouldn't take that long. It's, it's 2024 and this is almost 3,000 Australian dollars. Come on. Come on, man. So what else do I love? The fact that you just hit that subscribe button. What a legend. Anyway, I also love the ease and connectivity of the Fuji X app. It is a fantastic, hassle-free way to get all your images that you want, select your favorites, and get them onto your phone. When I take this camera to a family event, about 10 minutes before I go, I sit down, I jump on the app, and I transfer 20 to 30 of my favorite photos, and then I airdrop them to everyone. Everyone sees the airdrop notification, they go, oh, Jed's taking some photos on his phone. And then everyone goes, holy shit, these are sick. This is so much better than a phone. And that my friends is why cameras are still worthy. We recently had friends who live overseas come back to celebrate the first birthday of their daughter with friends and family from all around. And it's just a fantastic way to give them a lasting tangible memory that's better than a phone photo. It's just a really nice way to do things. And the app makes it so easy to give them those memories without having to set up a Google Drive link and doing posts at home later. No, fantastic. Download it, send it, happy days. So the app is absolutely fantastic and it's an integral part of the way that I choose to use this camera in my workflow. As fantastic as it may be, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because there is a negative associated with it that may leave you wanting more, but I have a solution. So for the next thing I hate, I have owned a lot of cameras over my time and as cameras evolve and designs progress, I thought there was one thing that most brands sort of agreed on. Exposure compensation dials need a locking switch. I always shoot fully manual and that is true on this camera too. However, there are times where I do put it into auto ISO because getting the moment is far more important to me with this camera than it is getting the cleanest image possible. For me, it's, it's about capturing the raw moments and there's times where the light's changing fast and you wanna capture that, it's in the sun and that's in the shade and I'd rather get the shot than not and auto ISO in those scenarios just makes it so much easier. But if the exposure compensation dial has slipped as it goes into your pocket, 
which it will, it'll lead to some really dark or some really bright images. It frustrates me so much that I had to take matters into my own hands and use a little bit of tape to try and make my own sort of locking mechanism. Doesn't work all the time, but it helps more than it doesn't. Final reason that I love this camera is the images. The images are just so damn nice. They have a real look, a real feel, and a real vibe to them. People say all the time, what did you shoot that on? Fuji X106. People don't ask that as often when I'm shooting my professional work on my Sonys. I do get asked a bit, but nowhere near as much as, what did you shoot the Fuji stuff on? People say all the time, Leica has a Leica look. This has a Fuji look. There's just something that separates it from everything else. If you're looking to make vibey images that you love and just have a real feel to them, you cannot go wrong with this camera. It just gives a different dimension to, especially those like raw family memories or just, you know, a day at the beach. It just looks different and you kind of don't want that clinical sharpness that other cameras may offer. Having a bit of rawness in there, a bit of grain and a bit of, you know, film emulation does go a long way to just, I hate to say it, give a feeling. I don't know what this was. I meant to do that. Just <laughs> So if that's what you're into, you're going to love it. The looks, the colors, the feel, it's got it all. But that leads me to my final hate about this camera, which is going to be a little bit controversial and a bit of a hot take as it's the reason a lot of Fuji shooters love Fuji cameras, and that is the recipes. The X106 has 20 different film emulations built in as well as seven user profile custom recipe slots. Basically, you can make your own presets to bang out good looking JPEG images that you can send out and don't have to do anything because the look is baked in. And that's nice and one of the draw cards of this camera, I use it myself. But the way that you save your own custom recipe is a little bit slow and clunky. You go through and you change all your settings in the menu and you save it out as a custom recipe, change the name and you're good to go. It's a little bit clunky at times, but I have a nice easy fix to that. There's a third party app every Fuji user has heard of called Fuji X Weekly. This is where users will upload their own custom recipes or recipes that are made to emulate other film stocks like Portra, Cine Steel, Ilford, or so on. I'd love to see Fuji purchase this app and do something similar to what Lumix did with the S9. Say what you will about the camera, they got the LUTs thing right. Hopefully I get to test the camera soon. Lumix has an app that you can download LUTs directly from Lumix, your favorite creators, or your friends. Download it straight on the app, straight onto camera. That is fantastic. I wish Fuji would do something similar to this as the ease of use of this camera would just go through the roof. I totally understand why they might want to distance themselves from calling something Portra or Cine Steel as it's competition to their own film stocks, but everyone's still on it. Just give the people what they want or call it something different if you need to. Imagine having an app where you could download all your favorite recipes in seconds, or furthermore from that, have your own recipe builder involved where you upload a raw image, you tweak all your levels to what you want it to, and you export your own recipe. Fantastic. I think this would go a long way to really opening up the potential of this camera, and not just this camera, but all Fuji cameras. Hell, you know what? Give us the opportunity to sell some recipes for five bucks each. Split the profits, 250 for Fuji, 250 for the creator. I know I'd buy a few, empower the community that support your brand. I think that'd be a fantastic way to do it. That being said, I'd love to see some of these things addressed before an X107, if possible. And actually, one other thing I love, the built-in ND filter. Fantastic for being able to slow that shutter down during the day, absolutely brilliant. But regardless, you'll absolutely love this camera because it is a gem. Let me know in the comments, did I get my list right? Do you think there's anything different? What do you think? Do you own the camera? Just, just say something, really. Anyway. Go listen to Anne Boleyn Vega. My name is Jed Dobre. I'll see you in the next one because you subscribed. Bye. Change don't change like it used to. Who runs the roost round here? The coot's gone clear. Got the heart from the base to the snare. But the word is what's keeping them here. Word to my peers. The work don't stop till the top. Think it's resting, but we're not. I spread the message.